You are now watching this Reese Live. Yeah, yeah. All rise. Oh, what the fuck is this? Support for Judge Von Der B is now in session. Judge's case number JVB1084, Daniel's case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. All right, Mr. Clough. Yes, you are. You're Honor. back, except today you're the petitioner. Looks right. like we found mom. Finally found her. Look at her. Okay, finally found her. What can I do for you today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here to get some justice. Okay. I think it's time that I get back what I've been giving out. Yes. What do you mean by that? Money. I've been giving so much money and she hasn't even been here. Oh, right. Know? Well, well, before we really get started, are the kids in the car with the dog again today? The kids aren't in the car, Your Honor. The dog got hit. So he's in the doggy wheelchair. Check his okay. So. All right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that about the dog, but the kids what? are fine. They are. They're with the neighbor. Okay, good, good. Just wanted to make sure. So, what's been going on? I mean, it's been a few months since I've seen you. Right. So, it looks like you were here back don't, when don't you were here. They like had that. a. Excuse me? Is she just looking at me crazy? Uh, I'll, I'll make it easier for you. You focus on me. Right. Focus. Don't focus. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, Judge. Don't he, be sorry. Just don't do it. This is he, your he first time here today. Morning. And if I remember correctly, you filed the lawsuit on him previously mm -hmm. and had the audacity not to show up. So you definitely need to pipe down. Okay, okay. I chose money though. <laughs> okay, well, you may have, and we're gonna get into that and see how much money you probably are gonna be paying on child support, but we wanna, oh my gosh. You see, you see? I'm watching this bullshit. What the fuck is going on? Huh? Is this even real? Is any of this even real? Is this official? Look like they in somebody's bedroom or something. This low ass quality courtroom. What the fuck is going on, man? Watch Judge Judy. I'd rather watch Judge Jerry. Reese. They in Reese old house. Thank you. Thank you for talking trash to me. Talk to us, Jay. Kyra Patterson says her. Is my camera too damn dark? That's what I be thinking. Every time I keep looking, I feel like it's too dark in here. At the house, I used to have a little lamp, but here. Damn it, man. I want the I want the lights to light up in the back, but if I turn lights on in here, fuck, man. God damn it, bro. And now my face is too dark in here, bro. Look at what I'm dealing with, bro. God damn it. Now your boy properly lit. Now I look like I'm talking to somebody. That looked like a boring show. You look like a boring hoe. How you think about that, huh? What you thinking about that? Just put the ring light in your face. Chat, you think I should? I still haven't really made TikToks yet. I bought this for TikTok. I haven't done it yet. Should I use it on my table? I could put the camera in the middle of it. You can attach the camera to the centerpiece and then... Shut up, man, before I smack the hell out of one of y'all. Don't make TikToks. Shut up, man. You know, some light skin type stuff. Chat, that's what the that's what the streets need. That's what the, the streets need you on camera like. <laughs> Shut Kate's up, man. maid stole her engagement ring and pawned it to get money to party with. Defendant, Navy Lange, says Whoa, he would Navy never do Lange. that to her best friend and is deeply hurt by the accusation that she's a thief. Case number 114 on the docket. Okay. We have the plaintiff, Miss Patterson. You are suing your former best friend for $5,000 for stealing her engagement ring. Oh! What's that about? The defendant, Navy, is my former bridesmaid and best friend. Yes. And I believe she stole my engagement ring and pawned it. 
Ma ma'am, have, have a seat. Have a seat. Give it back. Kai, you and know I would never steal. I'm not that person. I wouldn't steal from you, bro. We were sisters. On the day, it was a Tuesday. I had an early shift at work. Mm -hmm. And I got off and I asked Navy if she could take me to track practice. Why would you type, please turn the lights off? Shut your dumb ass up and watch the footage. This, um, I was very tired and I didn't want to drive. So uh, she took me in my car. Uh -huh. When she dropped me off, I asked if she could hold my ring because I do uh, track and field. Yes. And my um, hammer glove, it, it would get caught inside the hammer glove. I didn't feel comfortable leaving it at our college apartment ever. I never really took it off at home. Makes so sense. I asked if she could hold it. Uh, she dropped me off at exactly 4. She was there at 5 p.m. to pick me up when we got back to the apartment. Um, I took a shower. She started getting Ooh. ready when I asked her if she could grab my ring. and uh, She said it was left in the car. She never came back upstairs. She went downstairs to grab my ring. She never came back upstairs. I woke up to a text message at 1 o'clock in the morning saying that she had lost my ring and that um, she was sorry. She was going to pay me back. She wasn't sure what happened to it. Mm -hmm. The next day, I went to file a police report, mm -hmm. and um, afterwards, I was calling pawn shops and looking around for it. You found and, it. Um, afterwards, I saw on her Snapchat that she had been out hanging out at a party or something with a lot of people and that she had been driving drunk in my car. I felt bad. And why like, were you partying? Why, why were you recording you know, videos, you know, hanging out I'm, with your family? I was depressed, and I didn't I, I know you I know it's bad. Then? I know it's bad. Everybody knows that. Being an alcoholic, you know, like, you're not supposed to, like, drink, you know? You're not supposed to turn that way, but that's what I did. In your video, you were laughing, like, you didn't even laughing. feel bad. Oh, my gosh. What do you think happened to the ring? I connected it to my keychain, because, you know, I've never lost my keys. So I was like, you know what? I put it in my pocket and then dropped her off. It was in my pocket, went back to the shop that I usually chill at, yeah. and then waited till it was time to pick her up. Yeah. I'm guessing, so when, we pick, when I picked her up, we dropped, I dropped her off, and she was like, oh, you have my ring? I was like, yeah, yeah. Check my pocket, it wasn't there. I was like thinking, oh, maybe I dropped it in the car. I'm thinking when you get in the car, you know how sometimes like, you're you dropping, maybe it like, yeah. fell out while I'm getting in, between in the car. The seat. If it was on your keychain, how did you start the car? No, it's her keys. I have oh. my own keys. Oh, I see what you're okay, saying. Okay, okay, I Can don't I know what the fuck going wing. on. And who are you? I'm Navy's um, best friend. I used to be best friend with Kyra as well, her okay. former... And your name? Michael. Yeah, okay. You go to track practice. Why in the first place would you even take your ring to practice knowing that it's going to get caught underneath your ring? She just said she ain't want to leave it in her dorm. She ain't trust that there. Leave it in your room. It didn't have a solid lock. I didn't feel comfortable. But you leave everything else. Breaking, you though. think you leave everything what? else in your room. Why not leave Our it in phones? your room? Like, I don't understand why you would take it out to practice. What the fuck are you adding to the story other than judgment? Why, why, would you, why would you not put it here? But you ain't adding no facts, just your opinion on what the situation that already happened. And to begin with, like it's an engagement ring. Don't even, nonetheless, even, even give it to business. anybody. This is even her with. business. She's not even in it. It doesn't at matter all. if it's my business. Maybe well, my that's best why you're here because it's not your life situation. But it's not your so business. It's it's your life your life Smack somebody. Smack. Do something, Booker T. You loser, bitch. Do something, bruh. What's the ring insured? What is security? I had just gotten it. It, less than this three is weeks. an engagement ring. It's my engagement ring, yes. Is that the ring? Yeah, that's oh, my. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at that. Engagement. And he didn't have it insured? No, not yet. I had just gotten it a few weeks before, and we had discussed getting it that Friday. So it was a Tuesday. Where's we discussed getting you, it that Friday. You guys were best friends for how long? Uh, two years. Yeah. Two years. two years. I can't believe that you <laughs> ever thought that this would be Skycoach a person 55, that just subscribe. who would... Why wasn't she just wearing it? She a goofy. She said she runs track and field. She had a hammer fist thing and it would get caught in the ring and she didn't want to damage the ring or whatever the fuck she did. She had a reason for taking it off and her dorm room didn't have a good lock. It didn't feel safe. She gave it to her best friend and her best friend is a fucking fuckhead. Chat, stop acting dumb. S steal your ring and pawn it and whatever. I mean... Who does that with a best friend? Like, you know Maybe. that's not my character, bro. Okay, what is believable is that she lost it. This stealing it, this pointing it on both sides. I think this is a case where you were best friends. Well, sir, that she betrayed me. Oh! You're a good person, but right now what you're doing is and you Talk that. that talk. I'll say that word again. I know you're a good person, but right now what you're doing is and you Oh! Did y'all know what she said? She said... Oh my God! You know that. Man. You know that. We're sisters, Kai. Sisters. 
man. You have to refrain from I'm sorry, I'm okay. sorry. I'm getting sick and tired of this guy right here. Keep Chat, I hope you understand this is a serious accusation to say somebody stole your engagement ring that is your best friend and pawned it for some free bands. What I did, because Nate is my best friend, I see her almost every day. What I did for her was that I went to jewelry stores around the area and I asked about the ring. Because I myself, even though we fell out on bad terms, when she came to practice one day looking for her ring, I went up to her and I hugged her and I said, I heard what happened, I will help you look for it. That's very nice of you, but you didn't lose the engagement ring. And it, she would have told Jerry, do something. Told me immediately at 5.15 when you went downstairs. And if it was really lost, I could have found it. My engagement ring. You, you know how important that was to I me. Know. Why didn't you tell me? You're I calling know. Michael, you're calling D, you're calling when, whoever else. They have, have nothing to do with I don't understand why she's here. I have opportunity to find myself before you can even know. I'm gonna take that but chance because you, you didn't I looked right at me because you were, in, uh, you were far away. You were 30 miles away. What were you gonna do there? You, I if you were gonna go do your own thing, I you weren't looking because I saw your when video. When I left Ontario, I came right back. I looked, that's why I called you. I texted you at 1 a.m. Talk to her. When I found you at 1 a.m., you were drunk. You were was not drunk. I was not drunk. Why was there not Why was there Okay. Yeah, I'll right, my I've car. given every no, no more. You Come are on, young God. women that were best friends and are really ticked off at each other. You're ticked off because you lost your engagement ring, and you're ticked off because a former best friend who had asked you to be in the, the bridesmaid is accusing you of doing bad things other than being careless. There is no question in my mind that you were careless. Somebody There's gives no you an question. engagement ring. She could have said no. Do you have a receipt for? No. So no, all he, we know, she could be said, at the price. Ma'am, you could have a seat. Okay. Please, you thank you. Yeah, sit her right there. He said he didn't feel like he was ever going to return it or that he would ever need to resell it, so he didn't keep track of it. Knowing that you were coming to court today, mm -hmm. even yesterday, you could have called the store where you bought it, where he bought it. And if this is a $13,000 ring, <laughs> There is a record there of the day it was bought, the specific yeah. ring, the value of the ring. Why couldn't you bring that to court with you? The Because they will have the record that he, of who they yeah. sold that ring to. Mm -hmm. And then we can see, first of all, if it's a $13,000 ring, you're asking me to judge how much that ring costs. And looking at a picture, what do yeah. Oh, I found similar rings online. Not. She did that research. Let's go. See, that, see, that doesn't work. This part doesn't have to be a debate. You could have walked in here and said, the ring was purchased by Bill your fiance sale. on this date in this store. The ring costs this talk much. Talk your talk, this Jerry. Is the value of the ring. The store has all that information. All that, Instead boy. of saying, it's a fake ring. Somebody pointed all this. We could know that. Even if I saw it in person, how am I gonna know what a ring costs? Because you didn't come here with the clear evidence of what it's worth so what to we enable doing this with court this to make a decision. Jerry? So what no we doing? one went in this to commit a crime. I'm gonna penalize you oh, he gonna somewhat. Pee on her. Because when it's an engagement ring from your best friend, you gotta just not slam it in your pocket, put it on your ring and lose it. That's, that's not just could you hold my pen. And so I'm gonna fine for the plaintiff $500. Oh, 500! I don't even know that her irresponsibility really affects those around her and um, their futures and their dreams as well. You know, just because you lost me as a friend doesn't mean you gained an enemy. I still, like, I wish we didn't have to come this way. I'm sorry for my carelessness, but I swear, like, I do. I will always love you, but I know that we can't be in each other's lives, and I'm sorry I had to turn this way. I really am. Plaintiffs Doris and Guy Burnett say they tried to help out a family that was facing hard times, but wound up getting conned instead. The defendants claim they're the ones who got conned, and their desperate situation made them easy victims. Shut up while you take crime. This is case number crying. 154 on the docket, Burnett versus Long and Robinson. Let's go! Okay, thank you, and welcome to 
all of you. Here. Welcome here, chat. Um, let's see what we have. We have the plaintiffs, Mr. and Mrs. Burnett. Look at and you them. You are suing the defendants, John Long and Erica Robinson. For I like John's haircut with that beard. That's a nice look. Y'all should get that cut, chat. Hurry up. Five thousand dollars for car payments and damage. Well, as you said, we are suing these crooks here for damaging our vehicle, neglect, and abandonment. We had recently moved into a small town in Pittsfield, New Hampshire. Yes. And we were um, new, so we logged into the Facebook community page oh. for the town. Once we got onto the community website, we had started seeing posts by Erica mm -hmm. that they were desperately in need of food, that they didn't even have... Um, food for their children oh! and their cat. So I contacted her through the site and I said I'd be willing to bring you food and she gave me her address. And when I got there, she wasn't necessarily there, but her neighbor was out and so I left everything on her doorstep, but um, I didn't see any kids. I didn't see even okay, a cat. We'll, okay, we'll get to the van. Yeah. yeah. Then. Uh, they continued posting that they needed rides. Jonathan then asked me if he could give me a ride, that he desperately needs to get kids to doctor's appointments and he didn't have a vehicle. Makes and I sense. offered to bring him wherever he needed to go. But every time I would contact him, or when he'd contact me for a ride, and I would tell him, well, I could do it at this time, he would bail on me. So then one day, after it was numerous times, he, he started telling me his problem that he, he makes decent money, he's a tow truck driver. Lucky him. But nobody will finance him a car because he doesn't have good credit. So I said, look, I said, we have an additional car that's sitting in our driveway. It's All right, these motherfuckers, the greatest people that ever live. Now you about to give them a car? What are you talking about? Where's this story going? I need some food. Here's some food on your step. My kids need a ride. I, I put you in my car. I can't get finance for a car. I'm about to go give you my extra one. What is going on with this family? It's a newer van, fully loaded. I said, we're still making payments on this vehicle. It's $400 a month, but I would be willing to lease it to you with the option to purchase. If you could take over the payments, we would be happy you know, to let you have the car. It had a brand new transmission put Woo! in it. It had brand new tires from Firestone, which I have all the evidence of. Okay, if we and could see that evidence. Well, let me see. The transmission. These are all the maintenance records from Toyota showing the new transmission being okay. put in. Okay. The transmission was replaced 60, in the vehicle. 60,000 miles before you gave it to me. The transmission was new. replaced at 22,000 miles and change. Yep. The vehicle only has 54,000 miles right now, so 60,000 miles doesn't even come close to what's on it. Really? There. It only has 54, it has 172,000 oh, miles. Has Thank you very much. 154,000 on it. The tires much. were replaced at 40,000. We have the mileage. Okay. Chew. So you had this van. Yes. So we had this van. He was so appreciative that we were going to do this deal. Until He's like, I really us. need to have this right away because I need to be able to get around. And we said, okay, but first you have to get insurance in your name, mm -hmm. and you're going to have to list us as the additional insured because it's financed. Which is not And Toyota okay. will not allow you to do that with, without us being on okay. there as the I'm additional insured. Hold on, they're saying Toyota No, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. no. I'm on her side, then I'm going to hear you're your You're lying. Side. He'll give you your chance when your chance is ready. King Baka! We got documentation from Geico showing that they did their part on that, which and that's was great. Why I switched insurance he paid You're us, interrupting again. He paid us four hundred dollars, so we signed the contract as is. We, Can I see the contract? We stipulated everything in the contract, and then um, he took the car. First three months, he made the payments on time. Ew, them fucking dry ass fingers. Stop licking them. And then all of a sudden, we didn't get a payment. So I didn't give him three hundred dollars. There you are, Judge. And Your Honor, while you're looking at that, can I point in that they handwritten, typed my information out, but handwritten air all that of Erica. That is a lie. That was Erica's all handwritten. You did that handwrite my name and Erica was, was The there. day I signed it, it was all okay, handwritten. Let me hear from you. On their own paid post, her own husband broke the driver's side rear slider. That is. I'm that the is one. Not true. You live in my town. You don't, I don't live in yours. Town. What? Henry! We're not crooks. We're on disability. P -L -I -K -A they took underscore live just subscribed. Made us make a car payment, charged us more than what the car payment was. Here's what I want to know, the basic facts. You leased a van from them, is that, that correct? That was against the law on their part, because they have, they have it financed. Hold on, hold on. They have it financed Don't through Toyota. Don't tell me to hold on. Sorry. I just want to finish my statement. They have it financed through Toyota Financial. In the financial agreement with Toyota, you're not allowed to sublease to anybody 
while you're still making payments. That makes sense. They did that. So the agreement was under the lease that you would pay them $400 a month for each month that you had the vehicle, right? Yes. Okay. And I yeah. did. When did it stop and why? Because the transmission went. And then when you lease a vehicle in the state of New Hampshire, okay. you're not required for any major repairs to do with the drivetrain. You said in your complaint, you said they paid you for October, November, December. I'm on a ball headed guy's side. December and January. In February, we did not receive a payment. That's when the transmission broke your Makes okay. sense. We finally got in contact with him through social media and demanded the minivan back. John said that he didn't have the money and that Erica had got into an accident driving it. The service manager oh, said this was the most abused vehicle he's seen in 30 years. And he said it looks like they were spinning the tires to the point it was like they said they were plowing or towing things with our vehicle. Where is oh, sh he was putting in work. That um, the service manager. I wanted to confirm with you that the 2011 Sienna bearing, whatever, had significant damage to it. During diagnosis, we found the right front tire had uh -huh. small cuts indicating it was spun and also noted the tire is worn more than the other tires. We found the right front inner axle boot is torn open, allowing grease to leak out and dirt to enter the joint. The windshield is broken and we also found damage Damn. to the front bumper skin and passenger front fender liner. Oh! Okay. What we know, whether it was an accident. They tore that car up. They know what happened to the windshield because I talked to them about it. Honestly, I do not know. I, I talked to him personally. No, well, what what is it? Tell me. I don't I know. I slid when, she had to, when we had to stop and hit the brakes quick because someone cut us off. Oh. I offered to pay for the windshield already. Can I just say, these people have been scamming so many people. They don't even have children. They, I don't. They I have, have two sons. No, 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 be quiet, okay? Now, everyone the dog just stop my kids it. Out of mouth. They're not. No, look, give me a kid. Don't the play with her. That were adopted. Be quiet, okay? Now, everyone just stop it. The dog keep my kids it. out of her mouth. Oh, that's my type of woman. Just disgusting. Look at her. This is we'll what take. We'll take. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. No, about sir, it. I you hold that on. Was the judge is speaking. No, the judge is speaking. I know. I know. Everyone settle down. Sir, sure, stop because talking. I, that's oh, Jerry, don't throw them hands with that boy. I walk out. Good. And I'll make a judgment. I don't care. This is a court of law, all right? It was out of line when you start talking about the children. I don't want to hear about that. They have a right to be upset. Now, just stop it. This is not character assassination here. There are only two questions. There is a lease and whether money is still owed on that lease, and there is who is responsible for, to pay for the damages. Those are the legal questions before this court. Now? Yes. They didn't repossess it. They I abandoned it. Back. it. Nope. It's still in the shop. Ma'am, let me finish. Shut up. <laughs> Talk to him, Baldy. This is why y'all need to cut your head, because the energy start flowing through your head a lot smoother. That's what y'all keep failing to understand, Chad. Excuse me? I brought it to a Don't say excuse me and me. Let's get right to that action. He about that action, boss. Don't play with him. I'll say excuse me. There's you no one here to stop me. Oh, yes, Go there is. All right, big I'm, man. I'm, well, uh, listen, he's not letting me I'm explain. Fine. I don't care. You excuse don't threaten me. You people called in the me room. and said the vehicle I called him. Get out of this court we right now. Up. I will. We getting up. Come meet me somewhere, bitch. Whoa. I will. Come meet me somewhere, bitch. Oh, come meet me somewhere, bitch. Talk that talk. Talk that talk. Get out of this court right now. I will. Come meet me somewhere, bitch. That's what I like to hear. Oh, I'll meet them. Yeah, break that door open. Let me see that door oh, one more them. time. Mm, get that door out that way. Y'all think somebody playing with them? Come meet me somewhere.